What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making hot and sour soup with wood ears, also known as black fungus, and Napa cabbage. Here's what you're gonna need. Extra firm tofu, white mushrooms, vegetable broth, green onions, soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, hot chili sesame oil, white pepper, cornstarch, or arrowroot powder, Napa cabbage, two to three carrots, and don't forget your black fungus or woodier mushrooms. If you have a hard time finding this, either go to an Asian market, they will almost always have it, or get shiitake mushrooms instead. All right, the first thing you wanna do is get your black fungus mushrooms, and you only need a half of an ounce of these. You're gonna rinse them. You want to soak them in boiling water. So they're called woodiers because All right, now that we're boiling, we're gonna take this water, we're gonna put it in this bowl. Just make sure that they're submerged, which they are. So we're supposed to cover this with a plate and let it sit for 20 minutes. Cause it's gonna reconstitute, they're gonna get a little bit bigger, they're gonna get a little gelatinous. They're also called jelly ears. Now, you're gonna get your Napa cabbage. And you're gonna get about eight leaves. Rinse them good, and then we're gonna cut them like so. You're supposed to spoon them. That's what the book said. So act like they're spooning. Oh no. That looks good. Now, onto your tofu. If you don't have one of these nifty presses for your tofu, which is pretty awesome, they're kind of expensive, oddly enough, but they're really, really cool. All you have to do is just throw it in there, set this on, connect it like so, and just let it squeeze all the water because there's a spring in there. So it's just naturally gonna force the water out. If you don't have that, then just get a plate, throw your tofu on there, get another plate, and then just throw a book on there. You'll wanna probably put this in the sink because obviously the liquid's gonna go everywhere all over your counter if you don't do that. But you wanna put like a phone book or if you don't have a phone book, put like a, just a cookbook, put your Veganomicon on there, let it sit on there for you know like 10, 15 minutes and let as much water come out as is possible. Now that everything's pressing and soaking and doing all that stuff, get a soup pot because we're gonna start on the soup. Throw in your vegetable broth, soy sauce, rice vinegar, hot chili oil, or sesame oil, and white pepper. And we're gonna turn on high, cover it and bring to a boil. While we're waiting on that to boil, get your carrots. We're looking for a half of a cup of shredded carrots. Yes, I'm thinking one carrot will be fine. It's a little bit more than a half a cup, but I like carrots. We'll just eat this later. Now that it's at a boil, we're supposed to add our fresh mushrooms, not the dried ones, not the, not the fungus yet. Wait on the fungus. So we only need a cup and a half. So we're gonna throw those in here and we're gonna add the cabbage. And we're gonna cook this until the cabbage is completely wilted and it said it should take about five minutes. Okay, so the wood ear mushrooms have been soaking for about 20 minutes. As you can see, they have enlarged quite a bit. So we're gonna drain this Give them a good rinse. I'm just gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces. So, so weird, they're, they're really like ears. They're really wobbly. Fun fact, wood ear mushrooms are like really, really super freaking healthy. If you can incorporate these in your diet every day, do it. They are supposed to prevent heart disease. They're supposed to lower your cholesterol. They're supposed to prevent cancer. They're supposed to be high in protein and iron and fiber and they're pretty much perfect, so get these and eat them. So the cabbage is pretty much wilted at this point. So let's go ahead and add the wood ear mushrooms. Grab your cornstarch or arrowroot powder. Get a cup of cold water and we're gonna mix in this powder. Mix it till it's dissolved and then we're gonna add it to the soup. While that is cooking, go ahead and grab your tofu and we're supposed to cut this into matchstick sizes. Just like that. Go back to your soup, stir it up. Now we're gonna add the shredded carrots and the tofu. And we're gonna cook it for about five more minutes just until it's heated through. In the meantime, chop your green onions because we're gonna garnish the shit out of this bowl. I think we're done. Let's try it. I'm gonna try to get one of everything. You can definitely smell the mushrooms. 
has that earthy smell to it, which I feel like you're supposed to have with a hot and sour soup. Uh, confession time, I've never had hot and sour soup. It is definitely kind of spicy, which I like. I really like it, actually. This is a really good, easy, not overly complicated tasting soup. Does that make sense? There's not, I feel like there's not a lot of stuff in this soup, but it tastes really good. And there's a lot of flavor in it, packed with flavor. So I just ate one of the woodier mushrooms, and I thought it was gonna weird me out, and it really didn't. I'm not a huge mushroom fan, as you all know. And I'm okay with it, oddly enough. Let's try a white mushroom. See how I feel about that. I'm okay with the white mushroom. I'm coming around, maybe. Yeah, it's okay. So this is a really good soup. Would I make this again? Yes, I would definitely make this again. I think this is a delicious soup. It's fairly simple. Has some really good nutritious things in it, which I like. You should try it. If you like hot and sour soup, try this version. I don't know how it differs from what you're used to, but you'll probably like this. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit a thumbs up if you liked it. I would love you for it. And subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time.